Right, so um, today I'll be showing you how to use uh, Deep Face Life. This video is for educational purpose and uh, whatever I will be displaying on this video is mainly for educational purposes. If you are using this for any legal purpose, you are solely responsible for your actions. So after downloading the software, you will start with 7-zip or a Winra. After extracting the software, you get these uh, two files. You get this file and this uh, folder here. So you open the folder. Uh, this software can be used for... It can be used on a GPU laptop and also a CPU laptop. If you are using it on a CPU, you should have a good uh, RAM. You should have at least uh, maybe a 16 gig or 32 gig RAM. If you are running it on a CPU, it has a CPU version. So this version I'm displaying here is for NVIDIA graphics card. So after opening the folder, you see these three files here, these two folders and this uh, file with the extension windows bash you double click to run you wait for a second or two you get this uh, interface so by default you will see everything will be turned off everything will be off by default if you are running it for the first time everything will be off so now the first uh, the first uh, features you turn on is the camera source so I'm using uh, the inbuilt camera. I'm not using any external camera. I'm using the inbuilt camera of the laptop. So I will choose uh, that camera source. I will choose HP, uh, which is the laptop's uh, camera. You leave every other settings as it is. Then you turn on your face detector. The on that device, you make sure you choose NVIDIA. So if you are using your CPU laptop, you choose your CPU, but I'm using NVIDIA. So some of you will be asking uh, what is the specification of uh, the laptop. So this is a ROTS 4060 with a GPU dedicated RAM of 8 gig. So if you are running it on NVIDIA, your RAM should be minimum of 8 gig. Anything below 8 gig, the you will not get a good result. So now I will choose uh, NVIDIA, then turn on my face marker. Then on that device, I will also choose NVIDIA face animator, face alignment. I will turn it on. Then uh, on that device, I will choose NVIDIA also. Then face adjuster, I will turn it on the face. Uh, face measure i will turn it on the face swap insights uh, this one is for when you are swapping your face on your on the full body this is used for a full body animation that is if you want to wave your hands on the video call you want to kiss you want to stand up uh, you use this face inside but i'm just using this face animator which is the half body animation. Just works from my shoulders to my head. So now, this face alignment, your face will be showing here. I covered it because so I turned it off because I don't want my face to be shown here. So under this face swap, you see this is the picture I'm animating. Uh, you can select any photo here but before the for this picture to be animated you have to turn on your stream output so when i turn it on you see this it has been animated so when i open my mouth you can see when i nod my head blink my eyes and uh, turn left to right just like that you see so under this uh, source frame, my 
my image is supposed to be a uh, aligned face my image is supposed to be also uh, privacy uh, reasons i turned it off so now if you want to set it for your video call you have to choose swap face which is this frame here you have to choose the swap face if you choose any other thing any other option here you see i choose source frame it picked my my image then if i go back to aligned face it will also pick my image but if i choose swap face it will pick the animated or uh, image here so i mind you any image you want to use you can insert your image here but the picture you are using should be in png format so if you want to to convert your pictures to png you can simply go to jpg to png i'll drop the link on my description below you upload the jpg photo then you click on convert to convert it to png format for you to use here so now to add your picture when you open this folder you see animatables you see your uh, you see user data sorry you see a folder named user data you open it then you see animatables so this folder contains all the pictures that are listed here so and uh, note if you want to use your photo photo that you want to be animated it must be similar to the ones that are here so if they are not similar to the ones that are here or if the photo is not similar to the one that uh, that are listed here that currently on this folder you will not get uh, a good result so that is that then to make the call on this stream output session you click on window when you click on window you you will see this small output window here so now you go to obs i will minimize this now open my obs when you open your obs this by default it's supposed to come like this then under sources you click on this plus icon and you click on windows capture don't forget you can give it any name i will say deep face life and i'll click ok then under uh, cursor capture cursor if you don't want your pointer or your cursor to be displaying on the screen while making it call you can check this and under this window you have to you have to choose deep face live output it's not showing here because i have not uh, i have not uh, sent the output so for you to send the output you have to to send the output you click on window so this has to show here before the output will be sent to obs so i will open obs again add a new uh, source windows capture and i can say df df which is the first life you see the output is here now and turn off the capture cursor and i'll click on ok i'll click on ok button so delete the previous uh, 
Windows I had it. So you see it like that, as you can see, you can drag and adjust to the screen, but if you want a good result, you go to edit, navigate to transform, then you click on fit to screen, it will automatically adjust itself. Now it has been adjusted. So for you to make the call, send this output to your, maybe you want to make the call in WhatsApp, um, Skype, Zoom, Telegram. So on this video, I'll be using Telegram. You go to this uh, area under control. This uh, OBS under control. You still you will see start visual camera. Under control, start visual camera. You click on it. You must click on this start visual camera, otherwise the video won't appear on uh, the software you want to use for the course. So I'll click on start visual camera. When you click on start visual camera, you will see the button showing stop visual camera. So now it has started. I will open my Telegram now. Then I will go to settings. You navigate to speakers and camera. On that camera, input device issues, uh, OBS visual camera. So when you choose OBS visual camera, you can see the output here. So when you call anyone on the telegram, this is the output that will be showing to the person. So you see, it's very smooth, it's running smoothly because I'm using a uh, uh, 8 gig uh, GPU RAM. See, when I blink my eyes, I open my mouth, you see. It's, it's my. So that is it. Uh, I'll close this for now. That is for. Deep face life. So, if you need this software, you can uh, reach out to me. And if you need, also need guidelines on how to install it, are uh, available. I'll give you guidelines on how to install it. You can DM me. I'll leave uh, my Telegram channel description on this video. So don't forget, it's for educational purposes, please. Thank you.